Come to Fins. Come worship at the rivers. To learn and grow. Hi, we would like to welcome you to the rivers. Where your life will never be the same. I'm Pastor Don Givens. And I'm Pastor Susan Givens. And, and we, we would, would like, like to welcome, welcome you to come, come worship at the rivers. Amen, amen, and amen. Welcome to Rivers of Life Christian Center, midweek words of encouragement. We thank God for you. We believe God for you. Oh, we are praying for you. We pray, God, you are praying for us. We thank you for mentioning Rivers of Life Christian Center when you pray. Saints, we are in some serious times, very serious times. The things that are coming against the church is not uh, of the flesh. But see, these things are spiritual in their nature. And um, the Lord Jesus Christ has called us, the church, to be the light of the world, a light that shines in darkness. That's who we are. We are the city on a hill that cannot be hidden. Saints of the Most High God, it is time to pray. You, we need to set aside time to pray every day. Now, uh, it's, I'm telling you, I realize it's not for many of us. It cannot be prayer at the same time every day, but we must make ourselves pray every day. We must, we must make ourselves pray every day, every day. And we know that you know, there's times when Things happen, and things get in the way, and try to block us from spending time with God. And I mean, try to block us, try to discourage us from spending time with God. We are determining our hearts to pray, to spend time with God, that we might get uh, Let's take the might out of, out of it, that we get instruction from the Lord to go, to go forth and go on and fulfill his will. Our heart's determination is to communicate with our God, to pray one for another. Saints, it is some serious, serious times that we're living in. Jesus Christ has already given us the victory. Jesus Christ has already given us the instructions. Spend time with him. Spend time with him. You know, we, we don't have time to be playing childish games, talking about, I disagree with this, I disagree with that, we agree on Jesus Christ. We must seek the Lord's face. I mean, seek the Lord's face with all of our heart. You know, that no one is more disciplined than the saint. Natural man do things for natural reasons to try and get in shape physically. We discipline our, ourselves to godliness. We discipline ourselves unto godliness. See, we, 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 so we need to make determinations as to how and, uh, and, and, and what we're going to do. 
that we may, that we be the most spiritually fit that we can be. We need to take times, we need to put ourselves together. Hey, hey. A, a spiritual workout. Something like this. You read so much. We read so much for a period of time during the day. We pray as a minimum one hour per day. We study the word. When we do something and you do what the Lord God has placed on your heart, but when we get ourselves, hey, get ourselves a, a, a spiritual workout unto godliness, and we practice that, the more spiritually fit or spiritually strong we become. We become. See, because everything that Jesus has told us, he has already fulfilled for us on our behalf. So we, and, and whatever the Lord has laid on your heart, how, how to make yourself more spiritually fit, you do that. One of the things I have is, is a, uh, I put scriptures together that the Lord has laid on my heart. And I call that my spiritual playbook. And I go to these, these scriptures and I search these scriptures and, and whenever the Lord lays something on my heart, I look that scripture up, I add it to my spiritual playbook. These are, these are our, our spiritual truths for me to, mem to memorize. So I encourage you to do whatever God has called you to do, but I'm telling you like this, God has called us to be spiritually fit. Saints, we need to pray we need to spend time with God now more than ever before. Now more than ever before. I am amazed at how many saints, how many of us as saints, um, don't, how many of us as saints, how do I say this, Lord? don't realize that we need the discipline, that we're not disqualified. And so, you know, we, and I'm talking to the saints, you know, that other stuff doesn't matter, that physical and all that stuff doesn't matter. We need to look like Jesus. We need to spend time with Jesus. We need to stop making excuses for disobedience to the word. Well, let's get ourselves spiritually fit. You know what happens when we're spiritually fit? 
we obey the word. We obey the word. And so, you know, this is the things that, you know, I shared with you. It's just a part of my uh, spiritual fitness routine. And listen, I have to say this right here. It is not something that we do um, because uh, of some natural reason. We're not condemned. You know, if, if we miss a day of spiritual practice, well, we get something in. You see, when we get the word, there used to be, well, um, there's this term called a skull session when, when you're preparing for your opponent, where you just get in there and you study what you have to do. We don't care about what you know, the devil has to do. He ain't nothing, no way. You, 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 you schedule yourself of what you need to do, and you open that Bible up, and you and you look at that as your skull session. What is a skull session? Developing the mind of Christ. When you read your Bible and obey your Bible, you're 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 uh, uh, developing the mind of Christ. So you go after your you. you you, what you, what the Lord God has planned for you today. And there is no, and remember, there's therefore now no condemnation. So if you, if you miss a, a, a part of your program, don't get, oh man, oh man, hey, hey. You thank God, you determine in your heart, it's time to move on to the next one. So, saints of the Most High God, um, I, I, I was just on my heart. I wanted to share that with you. Yeah. It, God has given you a plan. Yeah. Do what God has told you to do to be spiritually fit. Yeah, then and, and these spiritual workouts, and let me tell you something, they're far superior than any physical workout. Yeah, saints, if you would, go with me to Colossians chapter two. We're going to look at verse 14 um, through 15. That's what we're going to read. Verse 14 through 15. The Bible says this. Having, we're going to spend most of our time in 14, I believe. Having canceled out the certificate of debt, of debt consisting of decrees against us, which was hostile to us, and has, and he has taken it out of the way, having nailed it to the cross. Verse 15, when he had disarmed the rulers and authorities, he made a public display of them, having triumphed over them through him. Um, let's start with verse 14. The work of Jesus Christ, delivering us and forgiving us all our transgressions. Having, ca having canceled out the certificate of debt consisting of decrees against us, which was hostile to us. And he, at Jesus Christ, has taken it out of the way, 
having nailed it to the cross. Um, the, Jesus Christ canceled out, made, uh, has torn up and made ineffective and has removed and destroyed, he canceled out um, the certificate of debt, a debt we could never pay, a debt consisting of transgression, uh, trespass, iniquity, sin, and uh, um, these things that was that was a a that we deserved because we would we had been separated out from God because of sin. We could never have paid this. We could never have made it right. Thank God, Jesus Christ canceled all of their certificate of debt out. I canceled out the certificate of debt consisting of, of decrees against us, which was hostile to us. And this certificate of debt, this certificate of debt had fine print. It had fine print that only Jesus could cancel out. And it took the blood of Jesus to free us from this, because this, this certificate of debt, some, some of the, the decrees that was against us, that we were deserving of, that we could not, that we could not uh, rid ourselves of, included things like cancers. every kind of sickness, every kind of disease. Um, having been born with birth in one, uh, but how do I say this? Uh, with birth, Defects. Please understand what I'm trying to say here. Abnormalities. Being born with birth abnormalities. Things that happen in our life because of the wickedness and evilness of other people. Missing limbs. Born with, with, uh, or having Things like uh, blindness, you know, no uh, needing teeth, needing hearing. This is a part of this, these, these decrees that's was against us. Hor uh, horrific accidents that leave us in all kinds of terrible situations. Things that happen um, through no fault of your own, and let me tell you, no fault of your own. A lot of people ask, you know, why is this happening to me? It's because of this certificate of debt. This certificate of debt consisting of decrees against you which was hostile to you. Listen, you be made perfect in the name of Jesus Christ. Every ailment, every sickness, every disease, everything that is trying to destroy you be gone in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ on his on the cross has removed, has counseled out the certificate of debt with its decrees against us, which was hostile to us. The Bible says here in Colossians, uh, 
2 uh, and 14, the Bible says, has taken it out of the way, having nailed it to the cross. But saints of the Most High God, don't you ever give place to this thing that's attacking you and trying to uh, do you harm. You plead the blood of Jesus Christ. You call on the name of Jesus Christ and you walk free of all these things. Look, saints, we're going to have to stop there. But you, you, you stand against every manifestation in your life that is not of God. And that includes poverty, that includes sickness, that includes lack, that includes everything that is trying to oppress you and hold you in bondage and is trying to tell you that you that that whatever it is that is attacking you is your fault. No. Jesus has freed us from that. Jesus has, Jesus Christ himself has canceled out their certificate of debt consisting of decrees against us and nailed it to the cross. Saints, we're going to have to stop there. Amen. Um, but you know, you, you, you're believing God. You are the overwhelming conqueror. Saints, 1 Peter 6.12 says, Fight the good fight of faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called, and for which you made the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. Saints, read the word, pray the word, obey the word, speak the word. The word will manifest in your life. Saints, we must have an unwavering prayer life. We must have a fasting regiment. We must read our Bible. We must live a consecrated life. We must refrain from willful sin. If we practice these, we will never stumble, ever. Saints, be sure to listen to our next Rivers of Life Christian Center words of encouragement on every platform and gather as many as you can and, and, and set a reminder for yourself to listen to our next Rivers of Life Christian Center words of encouragement. Thanks there are those of you who do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Please pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus Christ, I am a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, forgive me of my sins. Lord Jesus Christ, save me. Amen. Saints to live a life of willful disobedience to God. If that's you, you need to repent. You need to repent. You cannot willfully disobey God. Um, and believe that there is not consequences. So saints, if that's you, please pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I turn from my sins. Lord Jesus, I turn to you. Lord Jesus, I confess my sin. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are faithful and righteous to forgive my sins and to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at our OLCCVA. Thank you for subscribing to our YouTube channel and help us push this message out. Thank you. God is looking for willing vessels. God is, is looking for you and me. Our goal is to win a million souls for the Lord Jesus Christ. 
And that's just the beginning. I believe we can do that this month. And listen to our podcast. Our podcast is at R-O-L-C-C-V-A. New podcast, Sunday and Wednesday, 5 a.m. Eastern Time. Follow us on X. Follow us on Rumble at R-O-L-C-C-V-A. Come to Rivers of Life Christian Center. We meet at 3940 Airline Boulevard, Suite 104, Chesapeake, Virginia, 23321. Good news is revealed at Rivers of Life Christian Center. Every believer should be in a church where Jesus Christ is exalted, where the Holy Spirit is in manifestation, where the Word of God is ministered in power and without compromise. Every believer should be in a church like Rivers of Life Christian Center. Every believer includes you. Saints, it's time to come to church. Service times, Sunday 10 a.m., midweek service online until further notice. Explore our website. Our website is riversoflifecc.com. We encourage every believer to pray at a minimum one hour per day. Send us your prayer requests to riversoflifecc.com slash prayer. Matthew 18, 19 through 20, Jesus said, Again, I say to you that if two of you agree on earth about anything that they may ask, it shall be done for them by my Father who is in heaven. For where two or three have gathered together in my name, I am there in their midst. Let's join our faith together to meet your need. This agreed together for signs, wonders, miracles, healings, confirmation of the word, great manifestations of the Holy Spirit in your life. Saints, we thank you for your bountiful and gracious giving. Go to riversoflifecc.com slash donate. We pray the fullness of God's grace abound towards you in Jesus' name. Saints, it is written, man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Saints, obey God and walk in the fullness of the blessing. Saints of the Most High God, I have good news for you. Grab hold of this with all of your heart and all of your faith. Something good is going to happen to you. This very hour, this very day, Jesus of Nazareth is passing your way. Come worship at the rivers. Thank you for watching tonight's words of encouragement. Come worship at the rivers.